In my previous video, we looked at a solution to head position drift when using VR on a motion platform. In this video, I'll show you how I fitted the tracker to the rig. The tracker provides a fixed reference in relation to the headset that the VR software uses to keep your head position fixed even when the platform is moving in all directions. I purchased the tracker on eBay for 219 Australian dollars posted. The price seems to vary a lot, so it pays to shop around. The box contains the Vive tracker, a dongle, dongle cradle and USB cable. In the centre of the tracker is a bolt hole with a standard camera mount thread. Next to it is a pogo pin connector and on the side is a mini USB port. On the top is a central power button and status light. The tracker contains a rechargeable battery which is charged via the USB cable much like the Vive controllers are. To turn the tracker on, simply press the power button. To turn it off, you need a long press just like the Vive controllers. You need the dongle if you are using two controllers like I am. The dongle is plugged into the dongle cradle and the USB cable from the cradle goes to your PC. I have the tracker permanently connected to the PC by a USB cable so I don't have to worry about the battery going flat. The first time I turned it on, I had to pair the tracker with the dongle. Pairing is done through Steam VR by selecting Devices, then Pair Tracker from the menu. Pairing success is reported by Steam VR. This was very easy and straightforward. The status light blinks blue during pairing and turns green when successfully paired. The tracker is mounted on the rig behind the seat just above the head. There are a few options but using brackets and screws is not one of them due to the foam and padding on the seat. There simply isn't anything to screw into. I didn't want to use glue or velcro in, in case it fell off or damaged the seat. I simply threaded through two bent paper clips and wound them around the long bolt with the tracker screwed on the top. It was not all plain sailing though. Steam VR notified me that the tracker firmware needed updating. I tried a few times to update it, but each time it failed. I've chosen not to update the firmware now as other users have reported that tracking is much worse or that the tracker isn't recognized anymore after updating. Everything is working fine as it is, so I'm not going to make any further changes. Once everything is paired and connected, I turned on motion compensation in the Pi Tool app and it works very well. Well, I hope that was useful. Bye for now.